I've got some files that I know I'm going to be using in multiple courses. There are a couple of options. Rather than just dragging and dropping them into a course, when you go to your file picker, you can see the options are here. You can put them in Google Docs. Better still, put them in Dropbox because there you can add a link to the file rather than a copy of the file. You could track them in your server files or recent files. Or you could put them in private files. Now when you click on private files, it takes you to an area where you have uploaded files and you can manage them from here, in other words upload more, move them, delete them, what have you. Or if you go somewhere else, anywhere, it doesn't have to be the front page, find the navigation block, look under my profile and you'll see my private files. Click on that and there your private files come up. Now this is managing the private files so this area is the same as clicking on that manage over there. You get to exactly the same area. In this area you can either drag and drop or you can add the files using the file picker. I'm going to create a folder here and create. So there I've got my three folders now. I'm going to go into this folder and as you can see I can drag and drop. So I'll go to my computer and find some files to drop in there. I'm going to grab a couple of files. I'm holding control and clicking and I've got a zip file here that I'm going to use. So with them selected click drag and drop and here they are. Now this one is zipped up so to unzip it I just click on it and go unzip and then you'll notice what I've got is a nucleotides folder because that was the one that was zipped up and inside there I have all the files that were zipped up. Right, so to get back, I'm going to click on there and I'm back here. To delete this file you just click on it and delete. Okay. If you want to move a file somewhere you click on it and you just change the path so you put it into the correct folder. Let's say I'm going to put it into this nucleotides folder and update. then you'll notice it's ended up into that folder. If I want to move a folder it's got a little icon down in the bottom corner just click on that and that's where you can move your folder or you can delete it or you can zip it up for download or whatever. Don't forget to update at the end. Now don't forget to save changes at the end. Even though I've uploaded these, they go into a temporary location until I save changes. Now these files will be available anywhere through the file picker. So if I go to the file picker, let's refresh this page. You can see there's my biology, I can open it up. And there's the nucleotides folder, so there's a whole heap of files inside there. close it again like that. So let's say I want to find a file and it's this one here so you click on it and what you do instead of making a copy you click create an alias or shortcut unless you know you want a copy in other words you want an exact replica at the time. The advantage of having an alias is that if, if any changes are made to the original file then they'll be reflected in the alias. So I'm going to select that That goes into whatever resource I'm adding the file to and you'll notice in the corner there's a little arrow which indicates that it's an alias or link rather than the file. Don't worry if the original file is deleted for some reason this then gets converted to a copy.